mesh and particles today. Let's create uh, an object like this. In the attribute editor we can change resolution, for example, subdivisions, etc. We won't do anything to that right now. Then we go to FX and here we have the mesh menu. We can as well search for the mesh menu here and here it is and with this object selected we create a mesh waiter. It's called a mesh waiter and um, here it's waiter. The default is that it creates from the platonic object or whatever object you started with 10 copies and we don't need all of them really let's stick to say five now we have five of them in a certain distance and we can regulate the distance here make it smaller maybe now let's introduce some particles the particles are here n particles and we create an emitter the emitter currently sits here so we can move it a little bit outward and it um, is controlled by the nucleus. The nucleus has a gravity of 9.8 which means the particles will flow down. That's what they currently do. Under MASH you have this icon or utilities connect particles to MASH and you need to select the particles and then the mesh. The best thing to do this is here in the outliner. Currently the emitter is selected, not the particles. These are the particles here. It's a, it's a large box now because they've fallen quite a bit to the ground. Uh, at the beginning of the animation the box is much smaller. Anyway, we pick this one and then the mesh and then we go to mesh utilities connect particles to mesh. Now we have the particles connected to the mesh meaning the particles won't look like little dots anymore but like the objects we've used in the first place. Let's give it a better color and the way to do this is select the mesh go here and then give it a color. Here is the color add color node. Currently <clears throat> the color is white. Let's give it well maybe what do you have here? Crater. Crater is very colorful and of course we don't have to make it that colorful really and I think I don't like the green here. I want to make it more yellowy and the blue is too blue Let's make the blue well, I don't know maybe like this. Uh, it should be fun to play with the scenes that's why color is is a nice thing to do. Uh, yeah here we have them falling to the ground which is pretty boring really. Um, let's make the particles a little bit smaller for a start. Uh, this object, this is our original object where the mesh is made from. It's uh, it's hidden currently so we can't see it. We can move it but it's not it's not visible. But we can scale it by pr pressing the key R and scaling it down. So you see the little dots become smaller because the mesh relies on the original shape. So this is um, nicer to watch really. And now we will we'll, uh, select the particles and go to fields and solvers and give them a field. First of all a turbulence field. The turbulence uh, makes, um, m makes the animation a little bit more well turbulent. It doesn't look like that here really and the reason is because the magnitude is so small. Let's make the magnitude bigger and the attenuation so this is uh, 
going to be much more interesting now. Still, the particles um, dissipate from the center and then uh, flow out into the into the open and don't return. Uh, we want them to come back, and how do we do that? We go to n particle again here in the outliner. So the part n particle node is selected, and we add another field, and the field is going to be a radial field. A radial field. Uh, shoots the particles even further away from us like this but we can make the magnitude from 5 here's the radial field to minus 5 for example which will try to hold them back now oh I put them to minus 50 I wanted to put them to minus 5 really so now you have this animation and uh, let's go to frame make the, the whole r uh, playback range larger to frame 1000 see how the whole thing develops so with this animation which you of course can stop anywhere and have a closer look and add more fields if you like change the turbulence, change the gravity, for example. With this uh, um, animation you get a glimpse of what MESH is able to do. MESH is uh, basically coloring the particle system, making the shapes of the particle system. Of course MESH can do lots of other things and before we split for after this tutorial I will show you one of the very interesting MESH examples. So let's open a new scene now don't save this one and we go to Windows General Editors Content Browser and I think here we have the mesh examples and I would advise you to try several I try this one now it looks not very interesting really but it has particle nodes just as we had it pre in the previous example it has a nucleus which drives the whole uh, simulation here and it has trails particle trails that's what we did uh, in the previous tutorial as well and uh, it has uh, an object here which uh, makes the trails visible let's put an, an Arnold light in here, light, sky dome light and make the intensity a little bit, well, well we can leave it like this and now let's run the animation, now watch out what is happening here let's stop it here create a nice angle for the camera and render it and extend the range of the animation which basically goes forever to 1000 and then we have this beautiful movement it's basically the same thing as we just did with our colorful polygon object Let's render this, for example. It renders within a second and it's just beautifully abstract, vivid and really cool. If you want to get into th things here, you select the individual nodes here which participate in that scene you have the count here for example currently you have 225 particles here you have the lifespan you, the, the particles currently live forever just to give you an example um, a constant lifespan of one I think that's one second now it disappears they all disappear you know you can give them a random range as well um, so this is just one aspect to dive into 
and um, try the examples and try to understand how they work. And in between I need to do some renderings because it looks so nice. Now Arnold is trying to render while I play back the animation. It's almost real-time rendering. So, see you later then.